Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's me Frostfire bringing you a video on one of the top 650 PC builds out there. With the release of AMD's 300 series of cards and the soon releasing 6000 series of Intel CPUs, PC part prices have dropped. Since Z170 is going to support DDR4, DDR3 RAM is drop dead cheap. And AMD's 2012 7000 series cards are being sold at stupendously low prices. For example, a 290 reference is $210 on GPU Shack. So since this build uses relatively outdated hardware, it may be irrelevant soon. But even when it is irrelevant, it will still pack one hell of a punch in terms of raw computational power. Let's begin. CPU Athlon X4860K. AMD's socket FM2 Plus CPUs are surprisingly good with an albeit non-existent upgrade path. With the CPU, you get an overclockable and powerful chip capable of plenty. It has four, so two in reality. Kaveri cores clocked at 3.7 GHz. I'd prefer this CPU over the G3258 since it's a quad core. You may want to consider going LGA1150 if you want this to have a upgrade path because as of now, the 860K is the best processor on the FM2 Plus socket. That's saying something, considering this CPU is pretty weak compared to, say, the 4690K. For the motherboard, we're going with a relatively plain but still capable ASRock FM2A88X Extreme 4 Plus Full ATX motherboard. It has plenty SATA and USB ports, so expandability is not an issue, but it is lacking on color. ASRock instead opted for a black and grayish white color scheme instead of red or blue. While sleek and professional looking, it won't captivate anyone for more than a few seconds. For the RAM, we went with some dead cheap Crucial Ballistic Sport Memory, 8GB clocked at $1600 for $45, count us in. Storage wise, we went with a 2TB Seagate Barracuda, 7200RPM HDD, and a 128GB SanDisk SSD. Both drives are under $80, which is crazy. For the GPU, we went with the PowerColor R9 380. It has 4 gigs of VRAM and is running on the GCN 1.1 core, so it will naturally have great power management and better efficiency, efficiency rivaling that of Maxwell. For the power supply, we went with the EVGA Super Nova Nex 650W 80 Plus Gold Fully Modular Power Supply, all that for $65. Crazy. Case we went with is the Corsair 100R. It's a nice budget-oriented case that has plenty of features and nice aesthetics. And lastly, for keyboard and mouse K-M, we went with the Cooler Master CM Storm Dev uh, Devastator Gaming Bundle. It's a keyboard plus mouse combo that'll set you up for some legit gaming. So that's about it for this video. I apologize for the inconsistency in my uploads and occasionally making videos private out of pure shame. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments, and I'll try to fix the issue. So until next time, I suppose.